Hello, this is TechMan88, and I think I have a way to clean these mice without, or get the mouse wheel working again, without actually opening it up. So, you can see that I don't really have any screw holes down here, and I don't really want to take these off, because if you've done this before, you know they can be very tricky to get back on and stick, and they might just slide around. Um, and also, I looked at some videos on cleaning the mouse wheel, like disassembling the mouse, and that is not something I want to do. Too many little parts, too many things to go wrong. So I have figured out a, bot a better way to do this, and what I'm going to be using is uh, just some lubricant, just some oil sort of lubricant, something lightweight, and then also some isopropyl alcohol. This is electronics cleaner. Um, I would use the purest you can get because this is what's going to be pulling out the oil that you put in. So you can kind of barely see in there, um, inside the wheel, there's these little um, plastic like spokes coming out from the center. Um, you can watch other videos and actually see people have taken this out, but I'm not going to do that. But basically on one side of this mouse, there's these spokes and they are read optically by little lasers or something inside there. So. I've already cleaned this. Uh, you can see that it actually works fairly well now. I could barely even turn this before, like I'd have to kind of push it over to the side to actually move it. And that is one feature of this mouse is that you can uh, rotate the wheel to the side and that comes in handy for what I'm going to do here. Um, so the, the idea on this is that you're going to put like a little bit of this oil in here and I've got this little applicator. This is why I like uh, this particular oil because the applicator. So what I'm going to do is just stick this in there as close to that spindle as I can and just like put put like a little drop in there. Not too much. You don't want to flood the thing. Then um, basically I'm going to spin it around. And the mouse may not work at this point. You may have blocked off that laser thing. Um, so what I do is just take like a little piece of paper towel like this and now I'm going to just try and clean it a little bit. So uh, I folded this twice. And then what I can do is slide this over to the side and just push that all the way down. Then what I can do is just hold this wheel to the side and just move it up and down like this. And what that's going to do is it's going to, first the oil will have pulled some of that gunk into the oil itself and then the paper towel is going to pull out that mixture so the gunk uh, you know about chemistry like mixes with like um, the oil will will pull the gunk and then the alcohol will also pull the gunk um, so that didn't really pull out very much so another thing I'm gonna do is just use this isopropyl alcohol and just put a little bit in there. I'm not worried about this getting on electronics because it's electronics cleaner. Some bad stuff can happen. Um, yeah, um, I won't get into those details, but basically it's a very clean alcohol and we'll do more, more likely do more cleaning than screwing things up. So then I can just repeat this step. And I have obviously cleaned this before yesterday, so I'm probably not going to pick out very much now. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of gunk there. Probably can't see it too well. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, then I can try the other thing on the other side. Um, I can put... Actually, I'm just going to put the alcohol right onto here. A little more controlled and this is adjacent to where the spokes on the, the wheel are so I'm going to shove that well not shove it but just make sure it gets as far down as possible and then I'm going to do that same step and yeah you want to be thorough with this just it takes a while it's not much fun 
just to move this wheel back and forth and try and agitate stuff. So I guess I'm just going to stop there. You would normally want to go a lot longer than that. And there is one other thing that I did just before any of that is I just went along like this. I mean, the way I really just thought about this is that I put the gunk on it this way just by using my finger. So I can probably take most of it off this way. But I don't think you can get all of it because you need to you need to do the whole miscible liquids thing. Uh, put in the right liquid to pull out the gunk, then put in maybe some rubbing alcohol to pull out the, the oil. So probably before you even get started on this, you want to make sure you understand your mouse. I'm just, uh, I have a pretty decent camera looking into there with some good, uh, some good focus. Uh, so you can see this actually seems to have a metal uh, optical blocker thing. This is the Logitech M500 or something, which is from 2013. Actually, let me look. Yeah, the M500. Um, so yeah, this is actually fairly well made. I think the newer ones actually have plastic. So yeah, this is a six-year-old mouse. And it's still working absolutely fine. Of course, it's all optical. Um, so it doesn't really break that easily. Um, so also then you can look down there. You can look at the little spindle down there. I'm not going to try and uh, try and stick this down there because I don't want to screw something up. Um, so yeah, you can see how the, the operation works just like that. So yeah, there's the metal optical blocker on that side. And if I turn it around and get the lighting right, um, when you watch other videos, you can see they actually took this apart, and if you want to get a better idea of what they look like, just you should watch those, preferably for your own mouse. Um, so yeah, this other side over here, if I can orient myself correctly, doing this backwards. Um, yeah, you can't really see that optical blocker in there. Um, and in terms of where the gunk actually is, I believe where it is, and... I believe it's on that spindle down there. So I will actually try to point to this real quick. So it should be down here. Yeah, this spindle here is, I think, where the problem area is. Um, there is one other potential area, is there's this little tray. Maybe not a tray necessarily, but it's a little thing that the the wheel sits in and I don't think I'm going to be able to see it too easily. Um, the videos I've seen, um, it's like a clear plastic and I think you can see the clear plastic down, uh, down in there. Yeah, this plastic tray down here is another potential area between that and the wheel itself. So just cleaning the side of the wheel as I did at the beginning will take care of that problem. That's really the easy part. I think the, the hard part is uh, just making sure that spindle is really clear and you're, yeah, you're trying to make that, turn that grease into something, turn that gunk into like a lighter weight oil, oily thing. And then you want to pull that out as much as you can with the, the, uh, the isopropyl alcohol. So after a bunch of cleaning, you'll notice that there's like still some hairs in there, but the mouse is working fine. And basically I would just probably not even worry about them. Uh, there is one thing I wouldn't do is use like a duster. Uh, the problem with this usually in electronics is that you can blow like a little piece of hair and you can blow that into like the click, uh, you know, the thing that detects whether you're, you're clicking. And that's going to basically mean your mouse won't work anymore. You will have to disassemble it because there's no way to get to that. So one way you could do this if it bothers you enough is like just try to push it out with like a little tiny piece of wire. This stuff is so small. This this is zoomed in so far I can like I'm having to maneuver like a millimeter. Um, <laughs> so I don't even know if this is going to work. 
Uh, what I would probably actually do instead of duster or just agitation like that is get a vacuum. So I'll get that. So I'm just going to vacuum pretty much like this. Uh, going to turn it on now. So you probably couldn't see it from the angle I had this at, but actually a pretty large chunk of something came out of there. So yeah, now after vacuuming, you can't see that little piece of like clump of fiber. So that I think is really the, uh, the solution to do this is use a vacuum and use a very light touch. Uh, even with a vacuum, you can get little particles flying around and that's the last thing you want. I've, I've ruined a lot of stuff just by using uh, these dusters, either by like blowing keys off keyboards or um, putting something in the wrong place or ruining motors. So I wouldn't run out and buy a bunch of supplies for this that you might only use once. Uh, this is like a $20 bottle of this really pure isopropyl alcohol. Uh, this is like six bucks here. And it turns out that the mouse, if I bought like a new version of this really old mouse, it's only like 25 bucks. Uh, but I just had this stuff laying around and might as well use it. Um, one other thing is I would, I would probably start out with, uh, without the oil, as I showed earlier. Um, I would just do the method where you just put a little bit of alcohol on there and then just stick it in and do what I showed earlier with this part. So I'm just going to do one more pass here, see if I catch any more junk, get any more gunk out of there. And this again is just with the isopropyl alcohol. And this is probably what most people will want to do because most people have some sort of alcohol lying around, um, any type. You wouldn't, of course, want to use acetone or something like that because you'll end up dissolving some plastic inside the mouse. Anyway, let's see how this went. Well, nothing. Uh, so anyway, I hope you found this useful. I didn't see anybody else who tried this method. They all took apart their mice, and I think that's just like a little too much. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.